Almost 3,000 delegates descended on the ICC in Birmingham for the UK's largest ever solar power event. The industry has seen tremendous growth in a short time. As a barometer, this event is around five times bigger than last year's. Two years ago, when the feed-in tariff was introduced, there were 400 registered installers. There are now more than 3,000. So Solar Power UK aims to unite the various players, large and small. Well, Solar Power UK is really bringing the industry together at a very turbulent time. There's a lot of rumours, there's a lot of conjecture about will the feed-in tariffs be slashed before the April deadline set by the Department of Energy and Climate Change for next year. Um, we've got the Minister coming tomorrow and we're all eagerly awaiting an announcement from the Minister to understand will there, won't there be an emergency review. So Solar Power UK is really about bringing the old industry together to understand what the cuts might be, but more importantly how we can work beyond those cuts and how we can build a sustainable solar industry in the UK for many years to come. The event is giving the businesses operating throughout the industry access to the experts and the early delegates had a variety of reasons for attending. I'm looking to understand better the future of the solar PV industry in the UK. It's always been upset by um, various government decisions in the last few months and I'm uh, looking to get a better understanding of where the future might be. I'm looking at distributors and um, to improve pricing, uh, but the main product I've come here to see is actually um, a remote monitoring system to sort of offer to our clients. Just more knowledge about solar um, and just sort of obviously gain knowledge for our company as well so we can obviously pass that information on um, and just to sort of obviously meet everyone at the stores here today. You notice these type of shows coming up all over the place and um, I think there's definitely a bit of a buzz about them and to, to be part of it is, is definitely where we as a company want to be. Any information we can take away from this is all benefiting our trade <laughs> um, and networking, as I say, meeting new people, expressing new ideas, etc., finding out whether services are available. Birmingham proudly sees itself at the forefront of environmental technologies, especially with photovoltaics. The council aims to set the standard for the whole country to follow, so it's significant that the event is being held in the city. The local government is pushing ahead with major developments to introduce solar power in the region. We've launched Birmingham Energy Savers. We've already completed phase one, which is a very small pilot in an eco-village in the Summerfield area of Birmingham, retrofitting about 40 council properties. We've expanded that and phase two now takes into account 1,200 council properties, mainly in the Northfield area of Birmingham, but we're extending that to include council buildings, our schools, our libraries. But the big game change will be phase three, which is a multi-million pound investment utilising the very generous feeding tariff we have in Birmingham, uh, which will roll out photovoltaics to over 8,000 buildings in Birmingham. Along with the conference, more than 140 exhibitors are showing at the event, including some of the biggest names in the market, which confirms how important it is to the industry.